Most of you already know this free platform where you can search expired domains. You don't have to pay because this is 100% free. So just head over to expireddomains.net. In this video, I'm going to show you some method how you can effectively get a expired domain from this website. So when you sign up an account, you will see this column manager right here. So come to this section and here, if you don't include those columns that you are familiar, then First, you will get confused because there are a bunch of columns by default will be displayed whenever you are browsing expired domains. So this is effective if you're going to use SEMrush to validate the data of the expired domains, which I'm going to show you. So usually what you can do is just enable the GGlobal means this is the Google search volume. And then this one, as you can see, SEMrush US organic keywords. That means the domains that will be displaying will have info, you can see information or data if it has organic keywords from the UF via SEMrush. You can also add the majestic cross flow. And if you want the Wikipedia links, you can include that. So the backlinks as well. So we're going to use the majestic metrics to measure the backlinks and also the languages. And here we added three more related to SEMrush, which is the US organic ranking, organic traffic if there is, and organic cost. So here, these columns will help us identify if the expired domains from these expired domains.net will be worthy of remaking or rebuilding. So once you have this column set up, so this right side right here are the columns that are enabled. And here you can add more if you want. But usually I am using this, how many, this nine columns right here to identify the expired domains. And then take this save changes. Now once you save the columns, you can now go to the deleted.com. So if you want everything or if you want just uh, the latest one, June 2025, or let's first the June 2025. Now, as you see right here, columns are pretty well known to you. And you will see right here, there are this, if you hover over, these are the SEMrush organic Google keywords, US keywords, and these are SEMrush uh, Google Trip there is and the SEMrush cost. All right. And here, what you can look first, the search volume, because if you're looking for the actual keyword that's or in the domain, so look at this one, Astroto. So I think this is the tow company, towing company. So it has 2.9K search volume. So the owner of this organization or just firm didn't train you the domain. So you can grab that. Make sure you check if it's trademarked first before you're going to use that. And you can have the backlinks right here. What I usually sort is if I can get SEMrush keywords. So we're going to click this. And you see right here at the very top, this hat, but today results, oh, look at this. This is actually a profitable domain. This already got 211 SEMrush keywords. And if you're going to take a look, so let's copy this, head over to SEMrush. And then here in SEO tab, go to the domain overview and then type the domain right here. Click on search. This is to verify if there are actually keywords. Look at that 97 keywords already in this domain. Don't worry about the organic traffic. You can rebuild them as long as there are keywords already ranking for this domain. So we're going to take this. Okay, so if you can create tools, especially with AI trends right now, it's very easy to create tools out of these keywords and then get rankings pretty easy. You can also create, aside from tools, you can also create blog posts, which the easiest way. So let's say, for example, take five results, New York today. So this is actually a lot of results based in New York. If there is an API to grab results of this and this domain is already ranking, you can create a tool out of this um, keyword right here. And look at this. This is actually a gold mine. This domain right here, you can go to Namecheap. So let's check. It's available. So any one of you who's watching this video, you can grab this domain right here, head over to SEMrush. You can hit a free trial. So just check the link in the description below. And also I have some tutorials on how you can easily create AI SEO contents for the expired domains that you choose. You can follow that video and look at this. This is actually a gold mine. 18 money keywords right here. So you can either put display ads to some affiliate links related to Lotto or whatever that, that will put in your bucket. Here in offer vault, you can actually check if there are some offers related to Lotto. Let's see. And look at that. Ooh, 105 payouts. So if you're going to point your traffic to this offer right here. Look at the money right here, $90, 100, 515. So lots of offer right here. So that's how powerful you can manage an expired domain. If you can effectively search for some of these that have free keywords that are already ranking. So let's check some more. So this is really a gold mine. So can any one of you, you can grab it right away. Let's check some more. Um, 
So make sure you also look at the Pirate Bay. I don't think this will last for long, although it is already has this number of search volume and already has some keywords. But most of the time, if it's, you know, proxies or websites, don't do it, guys. It, it's not worth Google may take down that type of site immediately. So we'll make something that's ethical and will, you know, last for at least one year. So this one is actually looks like a perfume or um, this one. We have some offer related to perfume or any type of stems that you can sell related to scent. So let's check if this domain has some keywords and look at this 40 keywords again. Oh, hat pay for candle making. So again, these are many keywords that you can point uh, this expired domain and grab some offer related to candles. So go to offer both. Let's see. And uh, it has one. My Chick Diwali candles, or you can sell some stuff from Amazon affiliate. Okay, let's check some. And look at this, guys. Bookbuyingguides.com or this one, worldtennis.com. You can put some news related to tennis. This is a really good domain name, worldtennisonline.com. Let's see if it has some rankings already. So let me just put this in and search this. It's got 14 keywords at the moment ranking and Andy Murray. So you can have this as the number one source of anything related to tennis. There are lots of player profiles that you can put using this domain right here and make some money out of it. So you can go to Amazon, sell some tennis rockets, or you can go to Offer Vault, see if there is something related to tennis. And look at that here. I think this is a betting website where you can point and make some money when someone signs up. And again, there's lots of ways you can monetize this type, especially when you're already receiving traffic. You can also go to the past dates. Let's say last year, uh, June 2024. So look at this June 2024. It got 41 keywords ranking. So you can recreate all these keywords right here that are already ranking. So you can check how you can easily create AI SEO articles or create tools in the video I link in the description below. So yeah, lots of ways. And this is actually free. Um, this expired me start that. And also you can use free trial of SEMrush sign up on this one. And if you plan to create multiple expired domains right here, you can always head over to Hostinger and get the plan that in my case, I'm get I'm using the business so I can host 50 websites in just a single control panel. So I don't get confused, especially when you're going to rebuild multiple expired domains. And what's good about this, each domain here, even though they're in one account, they have different IPs. So if you're planning to do PBN, or private blog network, you want to create backlinks using the expired domains, you can actually use Hostinger to host multiple expired domains here because they will generate different IPs for each website right here, which is, you know, really helpful. You don't go to different, you don't need to sign up different accounts. And uh, that's about it, guys. So I hope to get some insights out of this video. Um, please leave a like, leave a comment, let you think. See you on the next one.